Good morning, everybody. I'm starting roller skating lessons today. I think I might be the only adult. I don't know. I called the rink and they said adults go. But I just, I don't know. I have this fear I'm going to be the only adult in there with all the kids and looking like the weird old lady. But I guess we'll see. Hopefully there's other adults. Anyway, I'm going to go in. I can't film in there. I mean, I probably could, but I'm not going to film other people's kids. And also... I'll be busy trying to learn how to roller skate. I mean, I can kind of skate, obviously, but I feel like I need coaching because I, I don't know how to stop and I don't know how to get up when I fall. <laughs> and I just want to like get better because I, I still feel like very nervous and like not very in control. So I think this will help a lot. So anyway, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I'll update you when I get out of there and let you know if I'm the only adult. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit. All right, I'm a hot, sweaty, red-faced mess, but I had fun. And there are other adults in there, so it's not just me, which is good. So there was like me and two other women. And then there was a guy who was like a level above us. So he was with another group. So, but yeah, it was good. I'll be back next week. But we learned stuff I already know, which is marching like basically like to skate forward in bubbles which I'm already like a bubble queen <clears throat> but uh and toe stopping which I suck at so that's what I need to practice is my toe stops and getting up off the floor when you fall which I still can't do so I gotta practice that off skates because I just don't have like the muscle the leg strength to hold myself up with wheels under my feet so I don't know I gotta work on that that's something that I definitely need to practice. I think once I lose some more weight, it'll be easier. But right now it's a struggle to get up off. Even like, so like when I go to church and I kneel at church, I have to like pull myself up off the kneeler because I think it's, I don't know. I have bad knees anyway, so that's a challenge just getting up from kneeling, but I'll work on that. I'll get better at it and then Eventually, I'll be able to get up when I fall and not have to crawl to the side and pull myself up on the wall <laughs> or have someone help me up. So that's the two things I'm working on is toe stopping and getting up off the floor. The bubbles I've got down and the marching, like skating forward march thing, which is a very basic beginner skate move. I can do that too. So yeah, but I was... We had like a half hour of a lesson and then a half hour of games and practice. So I was uh, working on my toe stops for the practice session because that's the thing I need to work on. I just feel like I'm gonna like trip and land on my face. And I know that it's all in my head. <laughs> like if I just posture myself right, like she showed us to like put your shoulders back and your head up and then when you toe stop, you're less likely to fall forward. I just, in my mind, I still think I'm gonna trip and break my face. So I have to get over that and just slowly like practice it. So I'm coming back tonight, it's adult night tonight. So I'll be uh, trying to practice some toe stopping without trying to be in everybody's way. So that should be fun. So anyway, yeah, I don't know what else I'm doing. I might go to my cousin's bakery later and visit and get some cookies. Oh, speaking of, Weight Watches, I'm up 2.6 this week. But I knew I would be because I was like off the rails this week with food between Labor Day, going up ice cream, and then going to Gloucester and having fish and chips, and then going to the Duran Duran concert and going out to dinner before then and having a couple of drinks. I knew I was gonna be up this week, so I wasn't surprised. Oh, excuse me, but I need to get back on track with my eating and tracking. Uh, yeah, so that's it. There's a lot of kids in the classes, but what they have us broken up into groups so based on our levels. So me and the two women are level one, so we're in the level one group, and there's a lot of kids in level one too, but they have a few coaches that kind of help out. And uh, but the kids are so cute. There was this one little boy. He was, like, glued to me. <laughs> he was so cute. He's probably, like, three. Oh, he was adorable. He, he kept falling, but he, he was like, I think he was doing it on purpose because he was having fun falling. But 
but anyway, I had fun. It was a good time, and I'll be back next week, I think. I'm going to stick with this because I really, really want to learn, and I really enjoy it. So, and the coaches are cool. And there was one girl there. She's actually one of the coaches, but she's like 13 or 14. She's a really good skater, but when I first got there, and was first, like, you know, put my stuff down, she saw my T-shirt, my Duran Duran shirt. You can see it over my steering wheel. And uh, she came skating right over to me and sat down and said, I love your shirt. I just needed to tell you that. I love Duran Duran. And I was like, who doesn't love Duran Duran? <laughs> so, but it was cool seeing like a, a young teenage girl like now in 2023 that loves Duran Duran. So they are still bringing in the young girls. So anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to figure out what I'm doing now. I'm sweating. And then I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Probably nothing. So this might be a very short, boring video, but it's okay. It's for my own entertainment. And if you happen to watch it too, cool. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.